to this brand new tutorial everyone. So today I want to show you how to make different levels for your game. Now I have this first level that I'm going to show you right now. As you can see it is of a simple, uh, well the simple example that I showed you. I added some instructions, we have the health, we have our physics, we have uh, a bunch of interesting things going on here. And uh, I made it so the cube can interact with the uh, platform, so it can fall off and things like that. And uh, we are going to add a different level. Uh, so when you get to the end of the level, you'll be able to fall, uh, not fall, not fall. <laughs> you'll be able to skip to a second level. Now to do that, we need a trigger. We need the player to... Um, we're going to use physics, we're going to, well not physics, we're going to use the volume trigger because I find it's the easiest node to use. And uh, we're going to um, add some uh, logic so when the player is uh, colliding with a cube at the end of the level, uh, it's going to skip, uh, it's going to um, uh, throw the player into a new level. It's going to play a new level. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to set our cursor to the end of our platform. So if I zoom in here, select the cursor icon here, and now we can just click on the end, select the uh, selection tool again, and we'll be able to add a cube by going Shift A and Cube. Now we're going to want to make this fairly big so we don't want the player to miss it. There's no way he's missing that. And uh, right now we're going to rename this to um, Trigger. Yeah, it's going to trigger our level. Now as you can see up here I've set it to level 1 and there's only one level in the game. I just quickly renamed this one scene. And the most important step in our visual code tab is I renamed the traits from a normal player to player level 1. And I did this for all of the traits to um, be able to recognize which level these traits correspond to. Because more you add, uh, more you add levels, the more traits you're going to have to create, and the more traits you create, the more compact it will get. Because we're going to locate this all in a single blend file. Now it is possible to link different blend files and have multiple uh, Blender uh, Blender um, files. In your folder, and they are they are all linked together using the uh, Armory proxy. But that's slightly complicated, so I'm going to keep it in a single blend file since we're using a fairly lightweight game, simply uh, a simple low poly sort of mobile game, which is you know simple. <laughs> so again, we don't need to link all these different blend files. And now, as I have my first level, we're going to add a second level when the uh, cube is triggered. So we're going to create a new trait for the cube by going down to the armory traits and add in a new a node trait. We're going to make a new node trait and call it um, well trigger as well. So we have our trigger node created and oh remember we have to rename this as well. We're going to call it level one level one trigger. So we're going to search for a uh, volume trigger, an on volume trigger node, and we're going to select the player for one. I think that's the player. Yeah, that's the player. And for the second, we are going to get the trigger. Now, what we're going to do is when the uh, player collides with the volume uh, object here, the mesh, we are going to set the scene active. The active scene is going to be, we're going to search for the scene node right here to be able to define which scene we want to switch it to. And we only have level 1 here, and we're already on level 1, so it will restart the scene. Now this is good for restarting the game when the enemy uh, collides with it. Although now we want to make a new scene. Uh, so we're going to add a, uh, in this copy notepad button sort of icon here, we're going to click on that. And we're going to set a new. Now, sometimes if you do full copy, you'll get errors uh, because objects have been duplicated and things like that. Uh, so I just get to stick with a new copy. And we have a blank scene right here. Nothing's going on. So that is great. What we can do now is we can add our camera, uh, which is the main thing you would do. Now, as you can see, the camera is a bit screwy right now. So I'm just going to zero everything out by going um, Alt J and Alt R. Alt J, Alt R. Then we can bring it back. Ah, R X ninety, R Z 
90 GY GX in fact and we can bring it out now we're going to add a new cube there we go we're going to scale it in a little we're going to add a new cube again and we're going to bring it down and we're just going to recreate what we did before and scale it on the y axis so we can have a new platform and there we go we basically have our own new scene now we can move the camera into an interesting angle again I'm actually going to um, augment the focal length instead of the distance and we can zoom back in a little okay it's looking quite good you can obviously play with the camera for your liking until you get an interesting sort of uh, look and that looks quite nice so uh, here we go we are going to go and name our scene call it level 2 capitals and let's go back to level 1 and as you can see when we collide with this uh, collision object here we're going to set it to level 2 and now if you test this game out right now you'll be able to see it should work we have the health that is going along just fine and we have our collision object right here and boom we are colliding but we have an error the problem is we have no light uh, we're going to go to the world node in the scenes we're gonna add a new world and we're gonna set it to white and uh, we're gonna add a simple object material now something like red and something like uh, no, blue, red and blue, it's good contrast. Now when we play the second scene, directly it should play the second scene now because we're in the second scene. And as you can see we have something good. So we can go back and test that again. I'm going to augment the speed a little of the player. So I'm not waiting all night. I'm going to set it to 0 0.3. This is 0.3. And when we play this, we will have normally our player who is just fine boom we have our scene which has switched so that is great that is exactly what we needed so now uh, all you'll be able all you'll need to do is to rebuild what you did for the first scene on the second and every time you add a new node you'll obviously set it to level zero um a level two i mean not zero so let's just do that right now in fact let me show you we're going to add a armory trait for the player to make the player move set it to nodes we're going to set it to level uh, player move we'll call it yeah so now we have our level 2 script and we're going to put an on update node a translate uh, translator object node and we're going to translate the player 0 0.2 okay this should work and obviously since we're in scene 2 it should play scene 2 normally and there we go we have pretty much our the uh, essence of our second level and now we're going to select the camera so the camera follows Now, see, the purpose of this is that you can change some of the values so the camera is traveling at a faster speed, and obviously, or the level will be more complicated. And uh, yeah, now you can just like recreate what you did in the previous tutorials and change things and make things harder, and this time add enemies and things like that. And uh, you just build on uh, just build on that. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please subscribe and like. Now I have completed what well, that I have completed. The game jam has been completed, and as you can see, there are a bunch of really incredible games that have been posted. Uh, mine's not one of them, however. <laughs> now it uh, the um, the uh, battle um, cattle heist. I mean.
That is a really good game. I really enjoyed that one. I, I think that's going to be the great winner. Although we do have a really cool game called Space Roads uh, by Quantum Coder QC. And that is really fun as well. I really enjoyed that, that one. I think those two are my two favourite. So you can definitely go check out these games. They're all linked in the um, description below. And uh, you can download them and try them out. Uh, however, mine is a bit big, so make sure you have a, a good computer before you uh, try running it, because it's um, it's not very uh, optimized. Let's just say that I didn't I didn't have much time. So thank you very much again for watching, and um, hopefully you'll be able to continue your game development with multiple levels now. I've showed you uh, it's really easy. So yeah, have a good day.